welcome to yet another video here we're gonna I'm gonna show you the uh, the footage of sound comparison of the boss um, Amazon $70 against the Plex audio $800 ones now in the videos you could actually hear on the boss or on the not the boss but the boss um, the sound once it gets really high once you raise the volume it starts to dis distort the, 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 the sound. That's, that's probably the reason why I don't turn it up too loud on the, uh, on, the, uh, on, the, on my other bike. Is meaning because once, once you start maxing out the volume, it really starts to sound like crap. speakers on um, this bike I mean I have plenty of room here on these risers to kind of hide the speakers underneath the uh, fairing with the, with the long water fairing that I have here and that's kind of the way I did it as you can see in the video I was able to hide it and then I painted the windshield black at the bottom kind of give it that heritage look that soft tail uh, heritage look to kind of hide the speakers and then give it a, a nice look to it and it worked for you know a couple dollars windshields unless it was already there so Lex audio speakers I, I I like them you know they look good big and round and they're they're in your face if you know what I'm saying and the sounds really good even at max volume it still sounds good compared to the compared to the boss so that's pretty much it I mean these, when I install them on my stock risers, which are like the 5 inch ones, the 5 inch risers on, on the lowrider S, I was having some clearing issues, I had to move the fairing a little bit, I had to uh, move the, uh, the Plex Audio itself, and that was pretty much the only issue with installing these. I also dinged up the speaker grills as I mentioned in the other video because I, I forced these to fit with the stock risers. Now if I would have waited until I got these crowds, 10 inch risers I wouldn't have had that issue uh, with, ins with installing the, uh, the Plex Audio. So here let me show you guys what these look like. Just like I mentioned in the other video, I'm not trying to make this too long but the power buttons over here as you see on my other bike I installed a power button underneath the, uh, the seat. But this is what they look like. There's a little ding right here from the stock risers. Now because of the uh, because of the stock risers, the only way I was able to fit, as you see right here, this is from uh, having it installed on the stock risers and making the uh, the Plex audio system fit nudged in between the fairing and the uh, the stock risers. So it just kind of scratched up. Nothing really happened to the uh, to the fairing or the 
or the Plex Audio system, I'll show you what that looks like. So it's just kind of rubbed up against, as you can see right here, just minor stuff, just kind of rounded it out here. That's pretty much from just getting it to fit with the stock risers. So, like I said, like I mentioned in the earlier and on my other video, I could live with the uh, with the Amazon speakers, the Boss. I could live with those, and even I believe even those would probably look better without the fairing. Like they'd be attached over here to the risers, kind of to the side above the uh, the forks. So maybe the Amazon ones would look better if you have a quick detached fairing like this. Because honestly, when I'm riding in like this, I I, I kind of want to take them off. I mean, they're, it's hideous. So try try not to make this video as long as the other one. Pretty much, I can live with the uh, with the Boss uh, speakers. They're loud. I can hear them. It's just if you go too loud, they sound like crap. Flex Audio, they sound good no matter what they, they sound good so thank you for watching if you guys have any questions leave them in the comments if you guys like the video like the video or subscribe to the channel thank you later